My job at the beginning, as I explained, was to cover the assassination. Now, and every reporter who was involved in that realized there were no Pulitzer Prizes going to be won by anybody who proved it was a single man acting alone. If you were going to, if you were going to make a wave on this story, it was a conspiracy. And so we all, every one of us who was involved, and there was not just Dallas reporters, I mean there were national reporters who stayed there for weeks interviewing everybody, and we were all looking for a conspiracy because it just seemed to add up. I mean, on the surface, you look at it and say, all of this stuff, and you know, they immediately knew about the, the rifle, and was it the right rifle, could it be shot that quickly? All of the stuff that, that, that kind of cast doubt on the fact was Lee Harvey Oswald, one man acting alone, all that stuff was known from the very beginning. So that fed all of us who's, who, uh, all of us who were, uh, forget the FBI and the CIA and those guys who had their job professionally, I mean, job uh, uh, officially, then there were all of us journalists also trying to run the story out. Anyhow, so as a consequence, I looked for every conspiracy. And, and, and my attitude, and I, I'm very looking back on it, I'm so glad, I'm a little proud of myself in some ways because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. But I decided that I would not, I would, I would keep my mind absolutely open to every possibility, including the possibility that it was just Lee Harvey Oswald all by himself, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Because I realized the only way I could go about my work every day, if I believed there was a conspiracy, if I believed it was Os Oswald or whatever. But I finally got myself to a point where my open, and I've moved on to other stories, obviously, I moved on in life, but I always kept an open mind this way, that I do not, as we sit here at any given moment, I do not believe there was a conspiracy. Based on what I know, based on what I have read, based on what I first knew as a reporter, but then of course I dropped the story, moved on to other things, but I kept, continued to read about it. Based on everything I know up to this point, I still don't believe there's a conspiracy, however, the possibility still exists, and it would not surprise me that some deathbed confession, some guy who's, who's about to die in Durant, Oklahoma or something, lies, tells, turns to the nurse and says, by the way, before I die, I want to tell you I was Oswald's driver. You know, I was fully prepared up until the last few years, in fact, to, uh, to see that story move on the wires, and I wouldn't have been surprised had it happened. Now. You and I are talking in the year 2001. That has yet to happen. My, I now believe that uh, it's the absence of, of credible evidence of a conspiracy that leads me to believe that uh, there was not one, here again as we speak, more than, than the credible evidence that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that it was one man acting alone. You see what I mean? Right. I mean, I think that the circumstances that, uh, I, I don't mean to go on about this, but this is important to me about how, I, it, 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 the circumstances of, the, of, the, of what happened that day, there are so many little kinds of little, oh yeah, but that's implausible. Or, I mean, how in the world could you expect, they couldn't replicate the shooting, for instance. However, it's conceivable. You know, one FBI guy was able to do it. And so, you know, but Lee Harvey Oswald wasn't that good a shot, you know, so I mean, but, but there, there, there are all kinds of little things like that. So it, it, you could make a case uh, just on the surface that he had to have help. And, uh, uh, but nobody has ever made the case that this guy helped him, that guy helped him, and this, he was part of this conspiracy or whatever.